Section three, danger of normalcy bias. One of the real risks in being situation aware as it relates to personal protection is a term called normalcy bias. In 99.9% .9 of our lives, anything that happens around us has a harmless and perfectly normal reason for everything happening around us. But when that 0.1% or so of genuinely bad stuff happens, that denial of reality can cause real harm. Normalcy bias is a survival mechanism that is hardwired in our brains that when we detect trouble, our brains often engage in self-soothing. That self-soothing says everything is okay, and somehow this is all normal with a perfectly harmless explanation, overriding the reality of the threat or risk involved. I mean, I do what I do for you. Shut Come up. On. <laughs> there we go. What the heck was that? This is firework. Don't worry about it. I think it was a car backfire. Okay. Must be. Hm. What the heck was that? No, this is a firework. What was that? Nah, it's probably nothing. Don't worry about it. Normalcy bias is when your brain gets hijacked with a message of, this can't be happening to me, and desperately begins trying to weave a logical explanation to explain the reality, because the reality of what's about to or is happening is just too horrible to absorb. No, babe, that was a gunshot. Let's go, go. Go, 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 Head down, head down. Normalcy bias is very damaging in a crisis because it's not based on logic or rational thought. It's the brain doing its best to help us deal with the terrifying events and unpleasant possibilities. Our brain self soothes us into becoming a passive witness when we need to be 100% actively involved in self-rescue efforts. Examples of normalcy bias in action. Victims in a movie theater mass shooting, thinking it is some sort of role player associated with the film. School staff and students wasting time by thinking those loud banging noises down the hallway are someone setting off fireworks in the building. We turn on the lights in the middle of the night and find some complete stranger in our home uninvited and we ask, what are you doing here? When we kind of know what they're doing here, but normalcy bias is maybe there's a logical explanation for a large naked man standing over my bed. Our brains can process large and varied amounts of information each day, but apparently there are some things just too horrible to process accurately. How to cope with normalcy bias. As people understand we have to be our own first responders, we don't have the luxury of looking at a catastrophe in front of us and saying over and over again, this can't be happening to me. Our first step in solving any problem is accurate diagnosis of the problem. The normalcy bias self-soothing mindset waste time and opportunity. My thought in dealing with normalcy bias is adopting the mindset and awareness of it is what it is. And the faster we can process the reality of the situation, the quicker we can find a resolution. Awareness of normalcy bias is the first step in recognizing the tempting, easy, false answer when truly hard facts need to be addressed. And that leads us to the value of a well thought out schema.